What's up everyone, this is Taiwan Hubbard and I'm here to do a part two to my last research update. Um, we actually literally were posting the update and uh, my wife found this article which needed to be in the update and uh, so credit my wife for uh, this part two uh, because she found this and it's pretty crazy because if you guys saw how many studies I have in my database for hydrogen, um, you would probably be like, wow, dude, find another hobby. <laughs> but uh, but if you actually did see all these studies that I have, I check monthly, um, basically every week almost, for new hydrogen studies. So for this one to escape my grasp, so to speak, um, it's pretty, uh, I guess, uncommon would be the word. And it was recently just published in February 2023, so this year, so... Um, but anyway, this is a human study that shows hydrogen's benefits for preventing hangover symptoms. Uh, and I just thought it was uh, had to, I had to do this video uh, so that you guys can see this information that I'm going to share today. Uh, and it's part two of the first one. So let's get into the details of this study. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the title of the study. It says, Hydrogen Intake Relieves Alcohol Consumption and Hangover Symptoms in Healthy Humans, a Randomized Placebo-Controlled Crossover Study. All right, so uh, in this study, it's pretty interesting because actually in this study, they use uh, two administration methods of hydrogen gas. They use hydrogen inhalation and hydrogen water. Um, it's funny because they did pre-treatment with hydrogen inhalation um, and they did post-treatment with hydrogen water. So uh, I get into some of the details a little bit. Um, so uh, how the study was designed basically was like this. They had a placebo group and had a, they had a uh, intervention group. And they had um, basically the participants inhale either basically nitrogen or uh, or inhale high concentration, high flow rate of hydrogen gas, upwards of like two liters per minute, basically. So, I mean, it's a high flow rate of hydrogen gas. Would have given them a really big uh, dose of hydrogen an hour before consuming basically two shots of like vodka or something. It's basically 40 proof alcohol. Um, so basically two shots of vodka. Uh, and then, um, then they had them consume right after that two shots of vodka uh, basically within 10 minutes they had them let me see make sure yeah within 10 minutes um no so they had to drink the two shots within 10 minutes and then right after that they consumed about 10 ounces of high concentration hydrogen rich water it was upwards of like 2.5 ppm or milligrams per liter and uh and basically that means they would have ingested close to one milligram of hydrogen gas via their water. And then uh, they documented the symptoms, the hangover symptoms for these people. And of course, molecular hydrogen, hydrogen gas showed off. And uh, the participants who were in the hydrogen group uh, had minimum symptoms. And it actually, um, it was 88%. I think it was 88% of the people in the hydrogen group um, exhibited yeah, let me see here. Eighty-eight point six percent were had no symptoms at all. So, nearly nearly ninety percent of the participants in the hydro group had no symptoms, which is pretty cool. Uh, and so we're gonna go ahead and work through some more information in this study. Um, I actually have a study here in front of me, by the way, so you guys can see. Went ahead and marked up some stuff for you all. So um, I already kind of covered about how they were administering the gas. And then they did in this article talk about the previous articles I mentioned in my other video, uh, the with the mice study, and basically they stated here that there was no human study, so they wanted to go ahead and produce a human study because they believe based on the preliminary data that was already already done in the previous studies that there's some good indication that it'll be beneficial for humans and that it would actually produce this effect in humans, which this article went ahead and talked about. So I wanted to go over some of the symptoms that they were looking for, and I'm just gonna read down the list because it's quite a few uh, symptoms. Um, so here's the symptoms. Headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, concentration, 
thirst or dehydration, light sensitivity, sleep difficulties, excessive sweating, anxiety, feelings of depression, trembles, trembling or shaking, dizziness, stomach ache, memory loss, and uh, the sum of the symptoms. So the total sum. By the way, they looked at um, these symptoms not only in male participants, but female participants. So both uh, sex were were within this can this study and one of the interesting findings that they found was that um that it improved hangover symptoms in both males and females but it looked like it could be doing it in a different mechanism between the two which is cool to think so basically there could be a sex dependent effect that hydrogen might have for females and for males but it still got the job done so um they actually saw this because males had a lower breath alcohol concentration so they can measure how much alcohol is coming out in our breath to kind of indicate how much alcohol is in the blood and that the females had a higher breath alcohol but yet they both had very mm, basically they both prevented um the hydrogen um inhalation in water prevented them from having hangover symptoms um, compared to the control group. And then um, I just want to reiterate, it says here in the in the discussion that, um, you know, for females that they had this higher breath alcohol, but they experienced fewer headaches, less tiredness, uh, less depression, less sweating than the normal hangover conditions in the placebo group. By the way, all those symptoms, by the way, they have a, they have a, I'll show you real quick for those symptoms. They have a chart where you can see the symptoms. And basically, if you go through and break it all down, you can see that hydrogen is improving <laughs> all of these symptoms, uh, improving all these symptoms for these uh, participants. And I have one more thing, or actually two more things to cover with you guys about this study. They said that they found out that it was interesting um, because we typically talk about hydrogen lowering blood pressure, but they found an interesting finding in the study that that uh, um, that uh, here they said that the systolic blood pressure was decreased after drinking alcohol for two hours, and the consumption of hydrogen reversed this decrease. So. Alcohol decreased blood pressure, but hydrogen normalized the blood pressure. Typically, we want to talk about hydrogen decreasing blood pressure um, because, you know, high blood pressure can be problematic and, and it's, it's, a, it's a key feature of many disease models. But in this study in particular, they found out that molecular hydrogen was able to improve or normalize the blood pressure after consuming alcohol, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, they also wanted to reiterate and let people know that... Um, that in healthy humans um, who are consuming hydrogen gas that uh, with no alcohol consumption, hydrogen does not influence or change our blood pressure. So it doesn't alter blood pressure when administered normally to a healthy human. But if you're drinking some alcohol and your blood pressure drops, hydrogen's gonna, well, at least in this study, hydrogen improved that and normalized the blood pressure. So I thought that was pretty cool showing this relationship that hydrogen can either bring up your blood pressure when it's too low or hydrogen can uh, bring down your blood pressure if it's too high. Um, and then lastly, they basically had here in the conclusion of this study, they basically said that um, hydrogen significantly reduced the blood alcohol levels that improve intention, um, like cognitive function and executive function being that you could be on, you could be drinking uh, and it helps you make better decisions. It's one of the things that we know pretty often when people get to drinking, they don't make good decisions. Well, <laughs> in this study, they found out that hydrogen improved that executive function and cognitive function after alcohol consumption. And then they also state that it could relieve various uh, hangover symptoms in the long term. So, you know, you get drinking and then you go to sleep and then you wake up the next day and you have all these hangover symptoms. It says that it can uh, relieve these type of symptoms and that their results might offer that there was that the results of this study might offer a bit of relief for individuals who suffer from the effects of alcohol consumption. So 
this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad we found this fine. Um, this is uh, a cool update in the research showing that hydrogen can benefit. Um, and I think it complements my last update because my last update to talk about some of the mechanisms about what they're figuring out about how hydrogen is probably able to do this. Uh, and, and in this study, they went ahead and actually demonstrated these effects in humans. And so now we know that it's not just, um, you know, cell studies and animal studies, but we have human studies that are uh, demonstrating that hydrogen can have this effect. And then they wanted to make, make this clear um, based on the study, which I'm going to go ahead and reiterate what they said as well. It said that from a public health view, it seems to be a better idea to avoid binge drinking instead of having people inhale or drink hydrogen water before or after drinking alcohol. So basically, don't take the article and just run with it and be like, I can just smash a whole bunch of booze. And I, as long as I'm on that hydrogen, you know, I basically can be, you know, Captain America or something. I don't I don't I don't get affected by consuming alcohol. No, it's not good to binge drink. That's not a good thing to do. But if you are going to consume alcoholic beverages, I do think this study shows that hydrogen has um, potential for us to um, help us to process alcohol, um, you know, process alcohol and prevent hangover symptoms when it, you know, when it comes to us kicking it and drinking. Um, so, yeah, so that's this research update. I think I covered everything. I think the last thing I would say again that I have been seeing more often and um, in the literature that kind of pops up in this too. It might be something that I end up talking about earlier um, or not earlier, later. Uh, might be in a later video. Um, we need, just need more research on it, but that there's a particular sex or there's a sex dependent effect to hydrogen. That hydrogen might be benefiting females through particular specific mechanisms um, and producing therapeutic effects um, in them different than males. Um, it might be having a different mechanism in males and producing therapeutic effects, but the end results are the same, that it had this beneficial effect uh, on either or, which makes kind of sense that our hormonal makeup as a male is different than our, different than the hormonal makeup of a female. And so, you know, hydrogen's effects, you know, are pretty vast and broad. And one of its key things that it regulates is the endocrine system or our hormones. And so it can benefit us that way. So I think it's pretty cool that they've seen that and that in this article that they actually did demonstrate that regardless of whether you're male or female, the hangover symptoms were significantly reduced. But it could have been probably doing that in a different mechanism in men than it is in women. So alrighty. So that's it. I'm done talking. I will see you guys in 2024. Once again, if you like the content, if you like the information we're putting out around hydrogen therapy, um, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more updates. Uh, I will have this article in the link of this description. If you want to support us, you can do so through Patreon. Um, you know, you can find that also in the in the description. Happy New Year's. Merry Christmas. See you guys next year. Deuces.